what is up and welcome to this video today. I just want to go over five quick disciplines it takes to starting and growing a business. Um, I want to do some short videos like this and just chuck them up on YouTube for you guys. Try to do them at least once a week as long with another longer video, but this is just going to be a really short video regarding, like I said, five disciplines it takes to starting and growing a business. And a lot of these disciplines are actually going to make you better as a person as well. I've started to notice that when I started my business, I became a better person as well. If you're a better person, you're going to have a better business and a more successful business this is just my experience in that. Um, if you have any other questions you want me to specifically address in other videos about my experience or tips and tricks for you, or maybe you want me to record something differently altogether, just go ahead and comment that below. Shoot me a message on Instagram. I'm glad to uh, attack that with you. So let's just get right into it. So the first tip I would say, the first discipline is being brutally honest. Now, this, something, this seems like something that would seem pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory, but not a lot of people understand it. I would say being brutally honest, like painfully honest, is one of the best things you can do, especially as a business owner. Um, and do this through your actions, not as much your words. This is something that really is going to help you out as a business owner, and people are going to respect you much more for, for it and for yourself and your business when you're just brut brut eh, brutally honest. It's the best thing you can do. For example, I remember that um, when I would, you know, a while ago when I started, when I would talk to a business owner, I would tell them that I've been working with people or that I've been doing this for a while when that was just a lie. And now I tell people really up front, here's who I've worked with, how I've worked with. You know, some people don't get success with, with my program. Some people don't get success with my business. Some people do. It just completely depends. And that's kind of how I like to address it. So second one, consistency. And it should be, you should be consistent across the board with everything. Um, so I like to focus on my content, which I need to do better at, consistent on yourself, as in like working on yourself, um, consistent on like, you know, your feelings, what you're feeling, um, just working on yourself as a person, and then consistent on just like growing and sustaining your business, even when nothing goes right. Daily, I have a block where I'm learning and implementing new things for my business. And that's something that's really, really important, whether you're starting a business or not. I mean, if you are starting a business, it's more important. But if you're starting a business, it's something that's extremely important. Uh, number three would be delayed gratification. This is uh, something that is super key that you need to have discipline in this. And pretty much the concept that everything that's good is long term. Everything that's good is going to take a lot of effort. and takes a long time to get there. Short-term stuff, just get it out of the way. Get rid of instant gratification and stop doing that. I mean, simple things to do if you want to eat something and you're feeling a purge for, you know, some kind of snack or something that's unhealthy, just don't do it. You got to stop yourself from doing that. Checking your phone constantly, you got to stop yourself from doing that. Those are small little things that you can do to delay gratification and get your mind more in tune with that. Fourth, simple again, organization and time management. This is something that's super simple, but a lot of people kind of, brush it over. I'm talking like organization with everything in your room, in, um, in your business, on your computer, everything needs to be organized and really simple and straight to the point. And fifth and final one is constantly solving customers' problems and creating a system that does it with the least amount of you as possible. This is a concept that I didn't understand at first when I started business or that I wanted to start a business or just general kind of running a business kind of stuff. I didn't understand that you know, a really good business is creating a sustainable system that you can do it and, and you can provide to your customers with as little of yourself as possible. The least amount of yourself as possible that you put into this, the better. The least amount, you know, my clients can all get the exact same results with me doing nothing different between all of them or without me providing um, different levels of, you know, commitment to each client. It doesn't matter. They are going to get the same. They are all going to get the same results no matter what. That's something really important. And so finally, as a few bonus ones, always learn, always be learning something new. Never underestimate anyone. That's a big one. Never underestimate anyone, no matter what. And finally, the best investment you can make is in yourself. If you're starting business or if you're starting to figure out like where to invest money or you're making more money, you don't know what to do with it, invest in yourself. That's the first thing you should invest in before you invest in real estate or a savings account or invest in Bitcoin or whatever it is. Invest in yourself. That's going to be the most important thing that you should consistently be investing towards as well as, you know, just saving. So 
With those quick tips, I hope this helps. These are five disciplines and a little bit more that are really important and that would definitely help you become a better person and in turn grow a better business. So if that helps anyone, just let me know. Like I said, comment below if you have anything you want me to cover. I'm going to wrap this video up and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.